Title, The Unraveling of a Moment. Travis Kelsey was having a typical day in the spotlight. The Kansas City Chiefs tight end had just wrapped up a press conference, answering questions about the latest game and his relationship with Taylor Swift. Everything seemed perfect until his phone buzzed with an alert. Curious, he picked it up and saw a headline that made his heart race, leaked footage of Taylor Swift and Diddy surfaces. Travis clicked on the link, his stomach twisting in knots. The video was grainy and poorly lit, but it was unmistakable. There they were, Taylor and Diddy, dancing closely at a lavish party, their chemistry evident. He could see them laughing, their faces inches apart. In one moment, Taylor leaned in to whisper something in Diddy's ear, and he couldn't help but feel a wave of disgust wash over him. Travis scrolled through the comments, his heart sinking further. Fans and critics alike were speculating wildly. Some were saying it was just harmless fun, while others were questioning Taylor's loyalty. He felt a surge of anger and protectiveness for Taylor. This was not just a celebrity gossip story, this was about a woman he cared for, and the implications of the footage felt like a personal attack. As he paced around his apartment, trying to collect his thoughts, he couldn't shake the feeling of betrayal. How could this happen? He thought about all the times he had shared with Taylor, the moments that felt genuine and special. The thought of her being scrutinized in such a light made him furious. Later that evening, Travis and Taylor had plans to meet up for dinner. He dreaded the conversation they would have to have about the video, but he knew he couldn't avoid it. When she arrived, he could see the worry etched on her face. Travis, have you seen? She started, her voice trailing off as she noticed the look in his eyes. Yeah, he said, his tone sharper than he intended. What were you doing with Diddy? Taylor's expression shifted from concern to confusion. We were just having fun at a party. You know how these events are. It meant nothing. Then why does it look like something more? He shot back, his frustration bubbling to the surface. She stepped closer, her eyes narrowing. You know me, Travis. I would never do that to you. This is just a distraction, a way to create drama. People want a story, and they'll twist anything to get it. Travis's anger subsided slightly as he saw the sincerity in her eyes. I know, but seeing that footage, it just made me feel sick. Taylor reached out and took his hand, her grip firm. Don't let it get to you. We have something real, and I won't let a stupid video ruin that. As they talked through their feelings, Travis began to understand the pressures of fame that Taylor faced. He realized that their relationship was under constant scrutiny and that rumors could easily spiral out of control. They needed to support each other through this chaos. By the end of the night, they both agreed to face the media together, united against the swirling rumors. As they prepared to go public, Travis felt a renewed sense of determination. He was disgusted by the footage, but he was even more disgusted by how it could undermine the love they shared. Together, they would rise above it. In the days that followed, they stood strong as a couple, releasing a joint statement addressing the rumors and reaffirming their commitment to each other. As the noise began to die down, Travis realized that their relationship was stronger than any video or rumor could ever be. Title, The Unexpected Leak. In the heart of Kansas City, where the roar of fans echoed through Arrowhead Stadium, Travis Kelsey was riding high. His season had been stellar, and his romance with Taylor Swift had captured the hearts of fans and the media alike. Everything seemed perfect, until one fateful afternoon. It started like any other day. Travis was at home, lounging on the couch, scrolling through his phone. Suddenly, notifications began pouring in. It was a frenzy, social media was ablaze with a shocking video leak. Travis squinted at the screen, disbelief washing over him. The footage purportedly showed Taylor Swift and Diddy in a compromising situation, and it was spreading like wildfire. Travis's stomach churned, he felt a mix of disbelief and disgust as he hit play. The video was grainy but unmistakable, showing intimate moments that were never meant to be seen by the public eye. His heart raced, not out of jealousy, but out of a protective instinct. This wasn't just a scandal, it was an invasion of privacy. Unbelievable, he muttered under his breath, pacing his living room. He had always known that fame came with its fair share of scrutiny, but this was a new low. He thought about Taylor, how she would feel seeing her private life plastered across every news outlet. The thought made his blood boil. Travis quickly picked up his phone and called Taylor. The line rang, and he felt a knot tighten in his chest. 
When she finally answered, her voice was shaky. Travis, did you see? She started, her words trailing off as the weight of the situation settled in. I did, he replied, trying to keep his tone steady. This is beyond messed up. Are you okay? I don't even know how this happened, she said, her voice barely above a whisper. I just wanted to keep my life private. Travis clenched his fists, the disgust growing within him. We'll figure this out, I won't let them turn this into a circus. As the hours passed, the situation escalated. News outlets and tabloids were relentless, dissecting every second of the footage and speculating on what it meant for Taylor and Travis's relationship. Travis couldn't help but feel the pressure, it was like a storm cloud hovering over them. He decided to take action. With the Kansas City Chiefs game approaching, he called an emergency press conference. Standing at the podium, he felt the weight of the world on his shoulders. First off, I want to address the disgusting breach of privacy that has affected someone I care deeply about, he began, his voice steady but fierce. What was leaked is not only disrespectful but fundamentally wrong. Everyone deserves to have their personal lives kept private. Taylor is an incredible person, and she deserves better than this. The reporters buzzed with excitement, eager for a scoop, but Travis stood firm. This isn't about headlines. This is about human decency. I will not stand by while someone I love is treated like this. As he finished, he felt a sense of relief. For the first time that day, he was in control of the narrative. He was determined to protect Taylor from the whirlwind of chaos that had erupted around them. In the days that followed, Travis and Taylor leaned on each other more than ever. They decided to confront the media together, sharing their truth while keeping their bonds strong. The leaked footage became a catalyst for a new kind of awareness in their relationship, a reminder of the challenges that fame could bring, but also of their resilience. Though the disgust lingered at the back of Travis's mind, he knew that with Taylor by his side, they could navigate the storm. Together, they faced the world, not as a headline but as a couple determined to protect their love amidst the chaos. Title. The Unexpected Leak. Travis Kelsey sat in his lavish Kansas City apartment, surrounded by the chaos of a game week. The Chiefs were gearing up for a crucial matchup, but his mind was elsewhere. He absentmindedly scrolled through social media, half listening to the TV blaring in the background. That's when he saw it, a video, blurry and shaky, labeled, Taylor and Diddy. His heart sank as he clicked play, the familiar rhythm of his pulse quickening. The footage showed two figures in an intimate setting, their silhouettes illuminated by dim lighting. As the camera panned, Travis's gut twisted in disbelief, it was unmistakably Taylor and Diddy. The moment the video finished, a wave of nausea washed over him. Disgust filled him, not just for the content, but for the invasion of privacy that his girlfriend had unwittingly become a victim of. Unbelievable, he muttered, tossing his phone onto the couch as if it had burned him. The world had crossed a line, and it left a bad taste in his mouth. Taylor was a star, but she was also a person deserving of respect. This was an affront to her dignity, and Travis felt a fierce protective instinct surge within him. He picked up his phone again, now overwhelmed with a need to reach out to Taylor. He dialed her number, his hands shaking slightly as he waited for her to answer. Travis. Her voice was soft, tinged with confusion. Hey, have you seen that video? He asked, trying to keep his tone steady. I just heard about it, she replied, a hint of worry creeping into her voice. I don't know how it got out. I'm so sorry this happened, he said, his heart aching for her. You didn't deserve this. It's just, humiliating, she admitted, her voice faltering. I didn't want anyone to see that side of me. Travis clenched his jaw, fighting the urge to let his anger out. You're more than just a celebrity. You're Taylor, and you deserve better than this. I'll help you through it, whatever it takes. Thank you, Travis. I really appreciate it, she said softly, her vulnerability evident even through the phone. As they spoke, Travis's mind raced with thoughts of how to support her. This wasn't just about a video, it was about respect, trust, and standing up against a culture that thrived on gossip and scandal. The next day, amidst the frenzy of media coverage, Travis stood at a press conference, the weight of the situation heavy on his shoulders. Cameras flashed as he took a deep breath, determined to defend Taylor. Listen, he started, his voice steady but filled with emotion. 
What happened is unacceptable. Taylor is an incredible person, and the way the media is treating this is disgusting. Everyone deserves privacy, and we need to respect that. The room fell silent as reporters exchanged surprised glances. This was a side of Travis they hadn't seen before, passionate, fierce, and unwavering in his support. As the press conference wrapped up, he felt a wave of relief wash over him. He knew the road ahead would be challenging, but he was ready to face it alongside Taylor. Together, they would navigate the aftermath of the leak, pushing back against the chaos that threatened to engulf them. Travis returned home that night, his phone buzzing with messages from friends and teammates. But all he could think about was Taylor, and how he could help her reclaim her narrative. They would stand together, united against the storm, ready to take on the world.